What is up guys, it's Carson Craning. Today I'm going to show you guys my vintage band tee collection as well as show you guys a little bit of vlog footage from the past couple of months and weeks. Um, let's just get right into it with the vintage band tees. Vintage band tees are super important to me. It's the reason I got into fashion was I liked collecting vintage band tees and that was kind of my gateway or entry into it. One thing about me is, is that I'm kind of picky about what band tees I'm going to buy. Um, I want to buy band tees that I have some sort of cultural connection to, like I love the music, I love everything that's associated with the band usually. Um, if it's a band I don't like, I might not buy it. With that being said, let's just get right into it. This first one is this vintage Stone Temple Pilot tee. I'm not sure the year on this still, I'm guessing it's mid-2000s, early 2000s, but it has just a really beautiful fading. This is one of the earlier ones I picked up. Um, I actually got it from a friend. Uh, Stone Temple Pilots is a great grunge band and band from the 90s. So this is just a really cool tee. I wear it all the time just because the fading and the fit is really good. The next tee I picked up is this 2006 Bauhaus shirt. I got this about a few months back. It is, of course, Bauhaus is one of my favorite bands. I'm a huge fan of like gothic post-punk music as well as Bauhaus in particular, just because their music is great. But they're also a reference to a really cool architectural style. And with this tee, you have the Bauhaus logo, which is also not only the logo for the band, but also the art school. Even if this isn't from 40 to 30 years ago, this is still from 15 years ago. So it is still old, it is still vintage, just not the oldest of the old, but it's still a really cool tee. I love post-punk music and this is one of my favorite bands, so I was super happy to find this and pick this up. Next tee that I got is this vintage New Order long sleeve from 2001. Again, New Order is originally from the 80s, so this isn't super old, but this is still a 20-year-old t-shirt. Um, I love New Order. I really want a Joy Division shirt at some point that's vintage, uh, but I've been searching and hunting, and they're really hard. It's just really simple. It just has the New Order logo in a kind of bronze in one and a silver on the other. It hasn't really faded that much yet. Next, we have one of my grails. This one was something that I hunted down for for a long time. This is a vintage Big Black tee. Big Black is an industrial noise rock post-punk band from Chicago, and it is one of the loudest um, hard-hitting heaviest punk bands and it was one of my favorites last year um, when I was looking for this uh, really great music this is one of the ones that I had to hunt down so I actually paid a little bit more for it um, compared to most of them I probably paid the most for it but Big Black is really rare this tee is from either the late 80s to early 90s so it is of the vintage of around the time that the band was still playing um, its concerts so this would be official merch but I'm um, really excited to have this. This is one of my favorites. Uh, out of all my t-shirts, this is probably in my top 10, so. Next is this vintage Cro-Mags tee from the 90s. It's absolutely thrashed. It used to be a darker kind of black and now it's like very much sun faded into almost a navy blue. Uh, but it has the Cro-Mags logo. It's really, really cracked up. Cro-Mags is another really cool hardcore punk band from the 80s, 90s. And this is, again, also from the 90s, so of that era. Um, super cool. Um, I like this shirt a lot. I got it for $5 off the street from some guy who's just selling a bunch of t-shirts. So I got a really good deal on it, and it's worth a lot more than $5. So I'm really happy to have this one. This next one is a vintage Tool tee. Um, Tool is a band which I don't really like as much to be quite honest, and this is from like their 2007 tour. I just really like the fading on this shirt, to be honest, and it is a band tee. This is probably the only band tee of a band I don't really listen to a lot of, but it's just a nice shirt. I mean, this is my one poser shirt, but I like Schism, I guess. Um, but yeah, I just like the fading and the fit of this, honestly. Next is my vintage shellac tee. This is a very understated kind of low-key vintage t-shirt because you can barely see the logo on it. But it's black on black and it says shellac and then it has Omo on the back. And shellac is another noise rock post-hardcore band. It's Steve Albini's follow-up from after he was in Big Black. Um, so this is definitely a really cool one. This is from the early 2000s, right when um, Big Black first got started as a band in that late 90s, early 2000s. 
So this is of the vintage of when they were touring. I believe this is one of their tour tees. On to my two probably biggest grails or biggest ones of the bunch. First is this 1991 Meat Puppets tee. This is crazy. I think you've probably seen me wear this a bunch of my videos. And I haven't really talked about it. But um, the Meat Puppets are an insane uh, post-punk band, post-country punk, folk punk kind of band. Um, if you're not familiar with their music, you might be familiar with um, Nirvana covering some of their songs, MTV Unplugged, which kind of helped them as a band blow up when Nirvana ha was with them. But they toured a lot with Nirvana in a similar scene to Big Black, Sonic Youth, um, and a lot of bands like that. Definitely part of the SST Records. Um, so getting this was one of uh, my first pretty big, rare purchases that I was super excited about. Um, and this is just my kind of, this is like my big ticket item pretty much. Um, and I was able to get this for a really, really good price. And this is probably the most expensive um, band tee in the collection. Uh, but Me Puppets are an insane band. This 1991 shirt in particular, being of this vintage of around the time that they were around, very active, and before they blew up um, and got really big, this is a really, really rare shirt, and I'm super happy that I have it. And then last but not least is my 1990s Black Flag My War Tee. This is another kind of big ticket item, I guess. Um, I was able to get this for an insane steal. Uh, pretty much all of my band tees I was able to get for steals except for maybe the big black one. But Black Flag um, is an amazing hardcore punk band from the 80s. Uh, this one shirt is from the 90s, so it's not exactly that era, but it's still 30 years old, still a very old shirt. And I was able to get this super happy, big fan of Black Flag. And this is just one of the another parts of the collection that I love. Yeah, those are my band tees. They're all extremely special to me, um, and I love them all. There's a two band tees that I took at the L on that I just haven't been able to get. First was a Dead Milkman shirt that said, um, like, Richard is dick or something like that. It was hilarious. I saw it for a really good price. Didn't buy it, someone else did. That's my biggest regret not getting one. And then my second biggest regret was Einsternsen Nybauten, um, a vintage tee, which is a crazy German band. Um, and I saw this one that was up listed on Mercari for so long. I placed an order from the Mercari guy and it took two months and he still didn't ship it even though I bought it and he never responded to any of my messages so I just canceled the order and he never shipped my item. But those are the two that I've taken the L on. But with that being said, um, I think I'll show you guys some vlog footage from the past couple of months and, um, and just enjoy. Can I get the Somar coffee with extra Owen Hyatt in it, please? <laughs> yes, please. I, 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 where is Owen? It's just, it's just whatever. So Camden is just gonna show us what he got. First of so all, he got this is what I've got this week. This hockey shirt. These on these pleats. Nice. This fleece from this brand called Code Epoxy. Code Epoxy. It's got like a little font Interesting on it. little fleece. This vintage shirt that says my name on it. Camden. Camden. This uh, fucking awesome polo. Looks like the Prada one. Looks like the Prada polo. This Weezer shirt. Yo. <laughs> That's hard. This Columbia shirt. One second you're flying south for the winter. The next, the next thing, thing you know, know bang. Great. That's fire. I also got a bunch of CDs and stuff. That's cool. And this oh, N Wonder Bag. And the N Wonder Bag is sick. Yo, like you Super could like, it's bag. so big. You could like fit yeah. a kid in there. It's if like you 45 to. liters. All right. To the tire zip lock. What's going on? Off it. Yo. You got Yo, some Gouda. 
We got, we got some Gouda. Some we got some Wagyu. Cheddar. Some Wagyu. 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 I want to do an, ingre uh, an ingredients list. All right. Well, we got, okay. First, we got the Wagyu steak. A little bit tiny. Don't need that much. We're just going to cook this, cut it up. Then we got some beautiful sourdough artisanal bread. Then we got some Tillamook smoked cheddar. This is the nice stuff. This isn't the normal stuff. Then we also got some smoked Gouda. A little bit of salt, a little bit of olive oil, garlic, aioli, and then uh, what's the last thing we got? A little bit of truffle oil. Amazing. This is gonna be beautiful. And what are you guys? What are you, what are you guys oil? making? We're making grilled cheese. We're making the best goddamn grilled cheese you ever had in your life. <laughs> Wagyu beef grilled cheese. Explain what you do. All right, so we we got some beautiful pink Himalayan salt, not that regular salt. This ain't no McCormick shit. This is pink Himalayan from Trader Joe's. Um, <laughs> we season it. We're seasoning this. We're seasoning it. We don't need a lot on there. This is Wagyu, it carries its own flavor. And we're just gonna put it on high here. We are cooking it in a pan, it's sad, but. Oh, you hear that sizzle? Oh, that's good. You hear that sizzle? You know that's a good steak right there. That's a beautiful steak when it makes that sound. Sizzle for sizzle. Let's see what, what, what's going on over here. Okay. He's prepping the- he's I'm, prepping I'm, I'm the, prepping it, I'm the sous chef. He's prepping the bread. All right, all right. The sous chef? So we have the chef and the sous chef, amazing. I'm the sous chef, that don't mean you can't sue me though. <laughs> I'm just saying like action bronze and stuff. We're getting some beautiful cheeses. It's a mix of two cheeses. We're gonna give it two minutes on the first side on high, then we gotta turn it down from high. What kind of bread do we have here? Artisanal sourdough, French style. <laughs> beautiful meat, okay? It's only, we only have beautiful meat. This is a beautiful meat house. We cook beautiful meat. We buy beautiful meat. <laughs> Everybody gets beautiful meat in some way, shape, or form. I'm talking. Let's get an update on the meat. So we we're just cooking it. We're just making we're just making what I do. What else are you gonna do about it? Nice. Nothing. We're turning it down, giving it more time. We got some cheese. Don't film this. I'm messing up. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. It's all good. Trey Songz concert. She was wild. Yo. It's all about that, you know what I mean? Alright, we got the we got the breads on the pan. Or we got the breads on the, the cast iron actually. Nice. That's how we do it. I don't cook steak in a cast iron usually. Cook it on the grill like a man, but we had to do what we had to do today. It's it's okay, we're gonna fix it. Is that better? Yes. Nice. Wow, it's coming together. Mm -hmm. Oh, getting chunks. But it's okay. Nice. Oh. Any thoughts? I yo I, I only I don't have any thoughts personally. <laughs> I'm just oh, making it. Eat it. Our thoughts when I eat it. When I ha when, right. when we sit down, have a glass of white wine, eat this. Yeah, we'll oh, do it. We'll that. do a food review. We'll do a food review. This is crazy. You've never seen anything like this before in your life. You've no. never seen it. Never. You'll never see anything like this again. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity <laughs> right now. Once in a lifetime. Oh. Michelin, who? <laughs> and you know what? We doing it. We dripped out. I got the a cold wall. He's got the capital. This man. What are those capital? capital. capital. We do it in a Cobalt Capital Nike ACG and Wander. You guys don't even know what this stuff is yet, but you will, because we're gonna put you on. I think a lot of people know what Capital is. I don't think a lot of people know what Capital is. That's Cap. That's Cap. That's you, you can't be capping while you're wearing Capital, bro. That's Cap with That's Cap with a K. Okay, what's going on? You got you. You gotta try a piece of this cheese, bro. Uh, uh, this this yellow cheese. This cheddar? This, this cheddar. This is not your average cheddar. Here, you try it. Do you, do you want to try it? Yeah, I'll try it after you do okay. it. That's beautiful. You gotta try it. You gotta try it. It's about you. you we need you to <laughs> Okay. Try it. Okay. You Here we go. It? I'm trying it. Here, let's see. I, you can see me in the window? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, bro. Mm, that's a good Gouda. Is this, 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 this is cheddar. Oh, that's, that's it's cheddar smoked right though. It's gotta be. That's the smoked. This is I, I smoked. Feel, that's smoked. Mm. Oh, this is smoked. looking good now. Yeah, this is good. Oh, nice. 
and it's, we got it in butter. It's going to be really rich. I, I don't even have this cooking yet. I'm just waiting to get out of cooking. Oh, oh just, I thought it was cooking, but yeah. No, no. No, we're just preparing. I was going to be like right here. This is not an easy thing to do. You prepare this. Amazing. It takes time. It takes energy. Okay. <laughs> this is... It takes energy. It takes time. It takes energy. We, we take energy. Okay, he's pouring the olive oil in. You know, it's going to be like a bath in olive oil. It's gonna be like a. It's gonna be a baptism in a way. It's gonna be good. Like these are our children. These are our babies. It's gonna be like a Greek oh. soldier covered in olive oil. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Say things again. So the way we're doing this is that first we're letting the grilled cheese cook. We're letting the cheese cheeses combine naturally. Then we're gonna re-pull it back apart, and then we're gonna put the steak in it later. That's innovation right there. Nobody. No. No. No one's ever done that. That's like brave. <laughs> That's brave. Do you like our new sign? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you like the new sign? Wow. How do you feel about that? That's bold. That's bold. That's incredibly bold. Yeah, it's true. It's true. So, we might need to turn this down so I can hear the sizzle. Wow, this is this is looking this is looking great. Mm -hmm. Oh, we should have added capers, bro. I'm not a fan of capers. You're not a fan of capers? That's what are capers? I don't really know. They just taste good. They're like little olives. They're little crunchy. Put them on noodle locks. Little like BBs. They like they're like little they're like big black pellets, and they taste wonderful. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice! You cut them up nice and little. Yeah, try one of them. Try these. No, I'm gonna throw up. I'm so full. Okay. They look wonderful though. You're gonna regret that decision. Not so bad actually. Oh, the crust is coming on. Woo! Okay, we need, we need to get the values just to like plate it up. Give us an update. Right now we got the first one almost done here. And we're gonna pull it apart and we're gonna put the steak back in it. So huh? let me dice the steak up, but we got this. I might like put it back on the thing once the steak is in it, mm -hmm. so the bread can cook some more. Yeah. <laughs> So we're gonna do surgery right now. Okay. Get surgery on the steak. <laughs> on a sandwich. This is some. This is some next level shit. Oh shit! Let me. How are we filming this? Okay, I'm coming over here. Hot, 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 hot. Wait, do you guys want me to turn okay. this down? Oh. Okay, you've never seen that before. Oh wow. No. Oh, man. Put it, only, only put half in there. Yeah, yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so we got. I use my fingers. Sorry. Okay, use your fingers. It's okay. We wash our hands. Oh wow. That's that's. Just right. sinking into this pool, this kiddie pool of Gouda. And Gouda. H smoked cheddar. Smoked cheddar. This is great. That's gonna be good. Close that boy up. Close that laddie, that laddie up. You don't get, you don't get that every day. That's okay. Yeah. Yeah. And we're gonna have to cut these in half. Get a cross section oh. at some point. I'm gonna go over here now. Okay. Let's see. So this doesn't have the steak in it, but it's going to get that steak in it. Flip this boy. Ooh, Ooh. beautiful. Nice. Let me add some more olive oil. This is straight from Italy. It's olive oil. Yeah. From Trinity. What? Trinity Giados. Giados. <laughs> okay. We got surgery number two going on. And then we're gonna put these right back on, give them a little bit more. Oh, oh my gosh. Some salt bay action right here. We're doing salt bay, but we're using the steak. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna drop it all. I wonder what the audio is like with this fan just. <laughs> <laughs> like, side gun in the background. Yeah. You just can't hear anything. <laughs> nice. It's like, it's like bird mouth. Now, what we're gonna do for both of these bad boys. Uh oh, it's getting a little smoky right here. It's a cast iron. Yeah, but I just don't want to like your say your guys. I think it might just be like steam or whatever. It's beautiful. Might have just dropped it. Yep. Ooh. These are thick sandwiches too. These, These are small. fucking big boys. These are big, <laughs> big, boys. big boys. Did you guys use the sourdough? Oh, use that sourdough. Mm -hmm. You guys didn't even use the sourdough loaf you bought. 
I mean, we bought two sourdough flows. Oh, okay. Why? I'm not really sure. Well, yeah, no. I thought you thought it was looking really good. That's some amazing with beautiful things all beautiful things what are the ingredients on them off we got garlic aioli some smoked sharp cheddar some gouda truffle oil and then some wild food. <laughs> yeah it's really hot I can smell the truffle can you smell the truffle Yes, I can. Um, it's like, it's it's not too much though. It's just like a little hint of truffle, just enough to make you just enough it's to make enough you to smile. Make a grown man cry. <laughs> it's enough, it's enough to make you smile just a little bit. <clears throat> These grilled cheeses. All right, here we go. Oh, that noise! We just need a better knife, but it's all good. Show me a cross section once you once you're done there. You want the cross section? Oh, <laughs> amazing. That's beautiful. Amazing work, guys. Wow. All right, we need a taste test now. Uh, cut, cut the other one. I'll and, cut the other one. Cut or, or Carson, you cut the other one, and then, and then it's... You're going to be doing a triangle style. Sorry. Then it's taste. No, that's good. Right. This is essentially a patio. Okay. Show this one. Oh, beautiful. that looks amazing. It smells beautiful. I will say it that. It does smell amazing. It's a beautiful smell. All right. Thoughts? Impressions? That's really fun. Good. Good. It's not too greasy. No. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> The boys can cook. The truffle. Mm -hmm. Can you taste it? Is it good? Yeah. Mine doesn't have too much truffle though. Does yours? No, not really. It's like a hint. This is good. This is a good fucking sandwich. All right, I want to get some more like sandwich close up. Oh. It's grease. This is a little, oh. What? It tastes great. Yeah? Yeah. How you feeling about I it? I like it. I like it a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> the garlic. The, the garlic. The truffle. But it doesn't taste too rich or overwhelming in any way. It's all nice. Like, like, like one flavor. It's like nice little. Nothing's flashing. No. Amazing. Let me try by somebody. I need to. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow. Yeah, how is that? Good cheese choices. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Excellent cheese choices, actually. Mm -hmm. Wow. Those were good cheese choices. Mm -hmm. Okay. Wow, that's solid. And also the garlic aioli. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The garlic was, was an amazing choice. Yeah, no. Thank you. Yeah, wow. I can totally taste everything. Mm -hmm. That's great. It's so, it's so crunchy too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. It's done perfectly. Yeah. yeah. It's amazing what butter can do. Butter and olive oil. <laughs> butter and olive oil. It's yeah. a little bit of truffle oil. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't do too much. How do you pair with the wine? What wine is wine really and grilled cheese? Mm -hmm. Amazing pairing. This is the fanciest grilled cheese you can get though, pretty much. Like, <laughs> how much do you think they would charge this out of your restaurant? Like how much do we spend on ingredients and then like divide that by like the amount of servings it would have? So like amount of like slices of bread. What was the bread? bill? What was the bill at? For everything, but I bought like a lot more. It was like 130. So it's maybe like 50 bucks for both of these. But I have to buy that by like so. But you could have made more than two sandwiches. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. You probably charge like $30 for those at like a restaurant. I think more. Yeah. Yeah. I mean the Wagyu. The Wagyu just itself is a big price thing. Also, I wonder, like, like would people make funny, what make fun of a restaurant for putting Wagyu in the grilled cheese? Mm -hmm. Like, probably. Mm -hmm. But like, yeah, taste it on. <laughs> yeah, true. All right. <laughs>